Oh my gosh, Nintendo, I don't know what the hell is wrong with y'all. Just got some reports that, uh, you know, Nintendo of America is not going to publish Devil's Third. But Devil's Third is going to Europe and Japan in August. And it's, it's going to leave a lot of us uh, Devil's Third uh, fans in the dark. But there is hope because I remember Itigaki, he came out and said that if uh, Nintendo of America decided not to publish it, then he would do it himself. So right now, uh, you know, uh, Valhalla Studios is basically trying to find a publisher for a, a publisher for North America, since of course North America is the strongest market as far as consoles, games, and I don't know what else to say. And I've been ranting about Nintendo far too long. It's just stuff like this is the main reason why a lot of Nintendo fans or ex Nintendo fans had went on to other consoles, went on to the Xboxes, went on to the Playstation or even the PCs and just threw their Nintendos in the garbage and never looked back. You know, it's just stupid stuff like that. You know, and I could have sworn when Reggie said that the Wii U is supposed to be for everybody. For the cat you know, the casual games to the hardcore games that have all kinds of games, you know, on this system, which was a lie. He lied straight through his teeth, which I'm so freaking pissed off. And by the way, you not getting Call of Duty Black Ops 3, we thought that Devil's Third was going to be the replacement. It was going to be that shooter, that online competitive multiplayer shooter that we've been wanting for a very long time. The last time we had a, a competitive online shooter, I'm not talking about Splatoon. I'm talking about, you know, a regular shooter game, you know, uh, was basically Call of Duty Ghosts. That was, you know, basically uh, last year or almost two years ago. So basically, Nintendo, I don't know what the hell y'all thinking, I don't know what the hell y'all doing. It's just a bunch of BS that's going on, but I don't understand. You know, Nintendo talking about the game lacks quality, the game lacks the visuals, the visuals look like it's from two generations ago. Um, okay, Nintendo, y'all have no room to talk, talking about the visuals look like it's from two generations ago, and y'all sit up there and gave us this pathetic trailer of a Star Fox game looks like a Star Fox assault game those visuals look like crap and you want to talk about this like what the hell are y'all are y'all even talking about and uh, this this mess has gone too far with Nintendo like I, I know that they are planning on releasing this NX and everything, and, you know, uh, reports that's going to release next year and whatever, and reports, you know, talking about uh, it's, it's going to be less powerful than the PS4, and I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do. The only thing I, I could do to this point is vote with my wallet. You know, like I say in my previous videos, you got to hurt Nintendo with your wallet because, you know, Nintendo, they are not, they're not going to change unless you hurt them with your wallet because right now Nintendo thinks that they are on top of the world they could do anything that they want and all they want to do is give us a bunch of Mario games and a fucking bunch of Amiibo games and you know it's just so much stupid stuff Nintendo has been doing ever since the digital event everybody thought we was getting a new Star Fox game for the Wii U you get that Federation bullcrap force whatever that bullshit is and a lot of people still want that game canned and I'm not, look, I'm not a, um, um, a Animal Crossing fan, and I thought this was going to be a traditional Animal Crossing game that, you know, that a lot of Animal Crossing fans was going to get, you know, for the Wii U. But it turned out to be a damage controller game, you know, Amiibo Festival. So you got to buy Amiibo, so you got to spend 12 or 13 bucks for Amiibo just to play the damn game. So that's just a, a quick cash grab scam. You know, just, just Amiibos, just Amiibos that... And you know we did not get we basically only new games that that the Wii U consumers know you know that we're getting is uh is basically the Mario Smash Tennis whatever you want to call it and that Amiibo I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna say it's a new a new game I don't, I'm not I only know what the hell it's I only know what the hell I want to call that game it's it's a piece of crap that's all I know it's a piece of crap but that was a joke of a digital event. And, you know, after the digital event, there's been a whole bunch of damage control. You know, Nintendo bashing Microsoft and Sony's E3, knowing that they got embarrassed, but they they had the, the need that, that they need to cry about theirs and not even try to worry about their own, trying to worry about their own mistakes. And, you know, and all this, this 
stupid stuff that they were saying and you know Reggie you know they you know, Reggie uh, was talking about in our interview with GameSpot talking about the uh, Metro Federation Force had a good reception in which I am still trying to understand exactly what the fuck is he talking about <laughs> and you know another thing he talking about have great relationships with third party that exactly came that came out Reggie's mouth what the hell is he talking about great relationships with third parties like they, Nintendo has been doing so many questionable business decisions recently and it's just I know a lot of people have been saying that I've been ranting, ranting about Nintendo too much but Nintendo is giving me a reason to rent because they are saying the wrong things and they and they are doing the wrong things and I've been warning Devil's Third for the longest you know and it, it, it pisses me off that they will show this at the digital event last year you know keeping me all hyped and everything and now all of a sudden it's not even even in existence at this year's E3. You know, not even at the at the treehouse or nothing. They ain't saying anything. Like, I'm just so freaking pissed right now. It's just so hard for me to stay a Nintendo fan. I will always be a Nintendo fan. But you know, with stuff like this, I don't see how how I could keep dealing with this whenever their next generation console comes out. You know, because I might just strictly just be on the PlayStation and the Xbox because it's just too much dumb shit that Nintendo is doing and you know like I say Devil's Third was supposed to, was supposed to be the answer to Call of Duty and like I say a while ago is we still have a chance of getting it it's just it's just they have to uh, find a publisher and I guess Nintendo doesn't want to do it so it's bullshit it's bullshit you know, but as far as the Wii U games that we know that's coming out for the rest of the, uh, rest of the year, is you know, it's a decent lineup. You know, I'm not going to lie. You know, you got, you know, Feather Frame, you know, Star Fox, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, you got uh, that, Mario, that Mario Tennis game. You know, they got some, it's a decent lineup. It's not great. It's decent. It's a lot better than next year's lineup. I'll tell you that straight up. Oh, yeah, of course, they got Mario Maker and Yoshi's Willy World. So, it's decent. But the games I'm looking forward to next year is basically shit besides Zelda and maybe Shin Megami Tensei. I'm not really a big a big fan of that series, but I don't know what else to say, man. It's like Nintendo is screwing their fans, and it's like Nintendo just don't care about the about their fans. The only thing I care about is freaking giving us freaking to be amiibos and give us more Mario games. I'm just so sick of it, really. I am freaking sick of it. And if Nintendo actually did care about their fans, they would have dropped the price of the Wii U a long time ago if they really care, in which they don't give a fuck. All they want is your money. And like I say, after this generation, I'm going to, I'm really going to vote with my wallet uh, with Nintendo. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just sick and tired of people talking about Nintendo don't do nobody wrong. They don't do no scams. You know, the, the whole DLC crap. Y'all yeah, better uh, check twice because last time I checked, Nintendo has been shoving amiibo down our throats, and now we got to have amiibos just to play at certain, you know, certain modes in these video games. And yeah, I, I, you know, I'm not even gonna talk about that. But anyway, guys, y'all just let me know how y'all feel about this Devil's Third situation. It's, it's it's fucked up, and I'm freaking pissed off. I'm pretty sure that a lot of y'all pissed off because I want to play this game so bad, and you know, I've been playing Splatoon for a while. You know, it's pretty fun on the multiplayer. You know, online, but I want to play something different besides, besides Splatoon, and of course, I got I got Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare, and you know, by uh, Del's third being a third-person shooter, you know, you get the switch, but you know, switch between the the guns and the swords. I thought that was a a good idea. It looks pretty neat, and it's a good chance that we're not gonna get it. And it does, like I said, it doesn't make sense that since North America is the biggest and strongest market as far as console sales and software sales, it just doesn't make sense on why Nintendo doesn't want to publish it. But anyway, y'all just let me know how y'all feel about this situation as a whole. Like, comment, subscribe, and share my video. And once again, this is your boy, Regaming27, and y'all have a good day.